What, what I will attempt to do, number one, I will attempt to explain how our position on the law that lays the foundation for our convictions leads inevitably to our convictions about the Sabbath. Our understanding about the Sabbath is rooted and grounded in our understanding about the law. It's interesting, there are a lot of people who, uh, there are a lot of people who decide not to take the 1689 as their confession of faith. And the overwhelming majority of them, if they are Calvinistic, Baptist, Reformed Baptist, they would identify themselves as Reformed Baptist, um, but then they say that they don't want to take the 1689, they want to take some other confession, not the 1689. Overwhelmingly, in virtually every instance, it's because of their position on the Fourth Commandment. The 1689 is clear on the Fourth Commandment. And so some people will not take the 1689 as their confession. Some will take the 1689 as their confession, but then say that they just disagree on the Sabbath. Whenever someone says that to me, I say, actually, I think you're wrong. Actually, I don't believe that that's your only contention. And immediately we go to the chapter on the law, and in every instance, it is, well, yeah, I don't exactly agree with that. Why? Because if you understand the law the way that our confession does, then you will understand the Sabbath the way that our confession does.